everyone, welcome to July 2023 monthly favorites. This is the video where I share with you what my favorites were, the standouts for the month, and I have broken them into the categories of beauty, clothing, accessories, and home lifestyle type things. I give you the top five for each of them, so let us begin. I always start each month with beauty because that's where my channel began 13 years ago this month focusing mostly on beauty. So here we go. Number one are really two products together, cheating a little bit. It's what's on my lips. So Lawless Beauty sent me a PR package with their new lipstick and lip liner launch. And it's been a while since I've really gotten into a new beauty product. It's also been a while since I filmed a dedicated beauty video, which I did most recently. A lot of you missed it. So I'm gonna link it down and put it in the description box as well because I loaded that thing up with tons of really good, easy to do tricks and tips for putting on everyday makeup, especially in the summer heat. These two lip products. So it's a lipstick. And what I love about the lipstick, first of all, is the formula. It's a satin cream that leans a little more on the matte side. I don't have any gloss on right now because I wanted you to see the true color. I'm wearing the shade Daisy Girl. And then the part that I'm probably the most excited about is the coordinating lip liner because it has a shade that actually works with my lips. I've never been able to find a pinky nude that wasn't too deep or too brown. Getting a little excited, let me backtrack. The lipsticks I love because of the formula, but even more so I love because they're all very wearable colors for a variety of skin tones. And most of them lie in the nude-ish skin tony range with more pinks, a handful of more brown nude undertones, and then a couple of brighter colors, but most of them are more wearable everyday shades. So I love that. Like I said, I'm wearing Daisy Girl. Femme is another one I've been reaching for a lot. And if you want something that has more brown undertones, very fall-like, I believe, which one is this? Yes, Soft Truffle. And the lip liner of all of the ones that they released, the one that I am reaching for over and over is called Pink Sand. Love these. Next, I'm really excited about this one because this is a product that was developed by one of my actual viewers. And years ago, she sent me the prototype and I didn't love it. And I gave her some very constructive criticism and she went back and made some changes. And now this is a big deal. I've actually been using this for months. Everyone in my family loves it. Let me tell you what it is. It's called Shave Sticks. It is a shaving balm. So it looks like a deodorant. It's packaged like a deodorant. It is a solid balm. It comes in a variety of scents, none of which irritate my skin, my husband's face, my kids' faces. I love this because it is, where do I start? First of all, it's obviously very travel friendly because it's a solid. Secondly, it's very moisturizing, but unlike other shaving balms I have used, it doesn't clog up the blades on my razor. You all know what I'm talking about where you're constantly, you can get like a couple swipes in and then you got to rinse and then the blade's a little dull. No, I don't know what magic is in this thing, but it doesn't clog up your razor blades. It dissolves in water. It's so easy to use. There's travel sizes, although this in and of itself is very travel friendly. There's smaller sizes, lots of scents. She launched on QVC. So if you're more comfortable shopping through a QVC link, a retailer that you're probably very familiar with, I have a link to the QVC option where you can get two of these in the coconut cream scent, which is my personal favorite. You can get two of these. I think it's $29 over there. But if you wanna order directly from her shave stick site, she was very sweet and gave me a discount code and direct link. Now this is not an affiliate link. I'm not making any commission off of this. I just wanna share because I've legitimately been using this and without fail. It has supplanted my Lexitan almond shower oil and you know how much I love that one. So if you want a more scent options and a 25% off price, then use the link that she sent me so that you can get it there. Again, I get no kickback from this. I'm just sharing it because I genuinely love it. And I'm so happy to see someone that I kind of know enjoying success in her chosen field. Very exciting. Okay. Number three, I feel like I've shared this before. It needs to be shared again. So, you know, I've been playing around with a lot of self tanning formulas, but regardless of what you use to first apply the tan, there's a lot of great options out there. I think the key in maintaining or even deepening it a little bit is a good gradual tanner moisturizer that you follow up with 
through the course of the week. And for me, this is my new favorite. It's from Loving Tan. It's the Deluxe Gradual Tan. I have it in the shade Dark. They sent this to me. I love it. I love that I can also just get it at Ulta and Amazon. So I'll link those both below. It smells nice. I just applied it. So there's no extra color. This is just my, my normal fake tan, but in a few hours, this will deepen up a little bit. It's not too much. It's very user-friendly. And if you like like Jergens or one of those, or even the Tanlux one, I feel like this one is a more natural color and I feel like it smells a lot better too. If you did happen to watch my recent makeup demonstration video, let's just say, then you already know this trick, but I will fill, fill you in on a little secret. One of the big tips that I shared was how to kind of get that laminated look on your eyebrows without getting them laminated. And this was a complete mistake. I went to put my usual brow gel in and I instead reached for a lash primer. And after I put it through one brow, I thought, oh my gosh, I don't really wanna wash my face and start over. So let's just do it to both brows and see what happens. So I don't know that it has to specifically be this one. This is the Lancome Seals Booster. This is their lash primer. I think any lash primer would do. So what I do is I comb this through my brows and I put them exactly where they want. And this is pretty sticky and pretty thick and it is gonna lay those suckers down. <laughs> Rowdy agrees. Then I go in with my preferred tinted brow gel. Lately, it's been the one from Merit Beauty. And I go over it just to kind of make sure there's no white residue. And when I say these suckers don't move, they do not move until you wash your face off at night. Do you need to do this every day? Probably not. It's, it's a little extra, but if you're really dealing with unruly brows or you wanna play with that laminated look, I highly recommend this. And if you get a lash primer that has some lash serum in it or any kind of brow con lash conditioner, it's gonna help with your brow growth as well. So I just wanna put that out there. I'm, I did it today. I think it's a really cool trick. And then lastly, a fragrance recommendation. I love the Baccarat 540 scent, love it. It's also, ridiculously expensive. I think the smallest option is well over $200. And I just finished mine up. And then I saw that they carry this now. Dime, I can't speak French. I'm gonna try, okay, Dan. I don't know if the S is silent or not. It's either Dance Le Bois or Dan Le Bois. I don't know what that means. This smells exactly like the Baccarat 540. Is it exactly the same as far as longevity? No, I mean, this is under $40. It might even be under $30. I can't, it's in the 30 some odd dollar range. So it's an eau de toilette. The Baccarat 540 is a perfume. So there is a difference of intensity and longevity, but because this is so inexpensive, you can just keep spraying yourself, bathing in it. I, I don't feel guilty about using it. I hoarded that Baccarat 540 for as long as I could because it was so expensive. This, like I said, I'm just, apply liberally. So I wanted to give you all that option. I've moved over so we can insert some pictures because now we're gonna talk about my clothing favorites. And number one has to be this knit short sleeve set that I found on Amazon. I have a feeling it's gonna be a viewer favorite as well when we get into those in August. I have it in the apricot shade and I also wanna pick it up in the black option. I love all the neutral colors. It's super versatile. You could use it as loungewear. I also recommend it just for going out. It depends on how you accessorize it. I think it looks really elegant, but it's super, super comfortable. It's an elastic waistband, does not have pockets. And I also like how the two pieces obviously look amazing together, but are easily worn as separates as well. A lot of you have told me you've worn this for travel. You've worn this to even some business functions that were more casual in the evening. Lots of options for this. Let me know if you were one of the ones that loved it as much as I have. My second clothing favorite, Clothing is a stretch, but there are days I have worn this like clothing all day long, and that is my new summer robe. It's a lightweight waffle knit cotton robe, comes in a bunch of colors. It's from Amazon, so and it's an Amazon house brand, so you know it's affordable. And I wear it in a size small. I like that it has the tie on the inside and then the big, you know, normal tie, so there's no gaping issues, pockets, really nice and lightweight. I do like to wear a robe around the house in the mornings, and you know, sometimes I have to let the dogs out, go get the garbage, whatever, I wanna be covered up, but it's even in this heat, you do not get hot. So I'm really glad that I discovered this and that it is affordable because I had been eyeing another option that was closer to $200 and this is closer to 40. In my quest for the best white jeans, the current standouts are these wide leg sort of cropped options. They're from Chico's. A lot of you I know love them as well. I personally love them because they're really, really, really soft. 
and lightweight. So you don't get that stuffed in feeling that is very common when you wear white jeans and they're very flowy. They're perfect for this time of year. I like the look of summer tops with white jeans. Unfortunately, when every day is around 100 degrees or higher, any kind of white jeans are usually too hot, but these are actually wearable because they're so lightweight and they, they're flowy and they drape. So I would say they run true to size. You don't need to size up with these and I have them in a size zero on the Chico's sizing, which lines up to about a size four. Number four on the list is something that I actually did not discover. So I have to give credit where credit is due. My friend Sarah, you know her as hot and humid over on Instagram. She shared this over on her Instagram stories. It's a smocked jumpsuit that here's why it's so amazing. Number one, bra friendly. Wear a normal bra, straps are covered up by the straps. It has pockets. It is so easy to get into and out of by yourself in a hurry. So I would absolutely recommend this one for travel. It comes in a bunch of colors and a few patterns as well. It's very easy to just wear in the summer heat, but it's flowy. The legs are a little bit more wide, not overly wide, wearable wide. So I feel like you could easily dress this up as well. You could wear it for travel, but you could also wear it for date night. I think it's going to be great moving into fall. If we ever get there, you could throw any kind of lightweight jacket or blazer over it and it's a whole other look. I'm five foot four. And so I think it is kind of petite friendly because I'm wearing it with flats. It's not dragging on the ground. So I'd say you have some room, some wiggle room if you're on the petite side, especially if you pair it with anything with a heel. But my friend Sarah is 5'9 and she wore it no problem as well. So I can't remember if I said, I have it in a size small. And if you're looking for something to wear in the summer heat that makes you still look a little bit put together but feels like you're wearing pajamas, this is the jumpsuit for you. And then the last of the clothing favorites is a new release from Avara. Earlier this week, I actually went up to Dallas to attend their fall preview luncheon and they sent us all an outfit to wear from their fall preview line. It was really nice to get up there. There were 10 other influencers there, some of whom I've known for decades, some of whom I know through social media, but I've never met in real life. So it was really fun to reconnect and connect, but the dress that they sent me. If you are looking for a dress that you can wear now, but doesn't feel uber summery because the coloring is a little more muted, so definitely swings more to the fall side, but something you can easily wear into the fall, especially if you have any kind of fall event. I'm thinking High Holidays, Rosh Hashanah specifically, or Shavuot, if you're Jewish, you know what I'm talking about, or any kind of luncheon. This is very work friendly. It comes with a belt. I swapped it out for one of my favorite Amazon skinny belts. It has pockets. It is a full on shirt dress. So you can unbutton the from the bottom a little bit if you want a little more movement at the bottom. I'd say it runs true to size. I'm wearing it in a size small. This is the ultimate fall dress for so many things. It will probably sell out. So order it now and then you can wear it now. You can also save it for fall. Now let's get into accessories. So first, I don't want to get too much into the Nordstrom anniversary sale because I know most of it is sold out. But one of the standouts for me that is not sold out are these shoes, these sandals. These are a platform sandal, but a very small platform. And these have replaced my beloved Dolce Vita Paley sandals, the ones with the braiding across. These are even more comfortable. There's a little more height, which is kind of nice as well. These are so squishy. I adore these and they're currently still on sale through I think next Sunday. So grab them while you can. These are great to wear now, obviously in the summer and you can keep wearing them in the fall. They run true to size. And when I tell you they are comfortable, I stood in these for hours at the luncheon and I never felt like I needed to sit down. My feet never hurt, love these. Earlier this month, I shared that I love both the Amazon version of the woven tote and I also picked up the more high-end original version and I know a lot of you wanted an update and I don't have a final answer for you but I do have some thoughts and they're both favorites so I'm just gonna share them. The original is obviously it's a different color. I really really like the color and I like that it's a little bit wider. I like that I got it on sale I'll be perfectly honest. I don't like that these straps have not stretched out and it's really hard to get it. I mean I can they're stretching out a little but they're not fully stretched out where I would feel comfortable recommending this as an over the shoulder tote bag. This is a little more narrow. I don't feel like I have to be as precious with this because it's an Amazon bag and this has stretched out so I can easily get this over my arm and I do feel comfortable recommending this as an over the shoulder tote. 
Am I sending the designer one back? No, I'm keeping them both. I'm gonna keep wearing them. I've committed to this and they both have, you know, their pluses and minuses, but I wanted to put them both out there because you guys were asking. They are different sizes, as you can see. Different shapes, basically. They're both very cool, but obviously, if I had to give a final recommendation, there's just, this is a little, I like this a little better. I actually like the bag that comes with this, the inside insert, better than the high-end one. So I guess I just made a final answer. There you go. I do have a new favorite pair of sunglasses to add to my repertoire. Same brand that I love on Amazon. I just picked these up during Amazon Prime Days. They are more square and they have a metal frame. They do come in other color options. They're under $20. I, I just think they're really cool. And if you're looking for another pair to add to your wardrobe at a very comfortable price, I recommend these. I really like them. And they don't leave dents in my nose, which is to me very important. The standout earrings for the month, I would say are these pearl drop earrings from Dean Davidson. I do have a new code. It's 15% off instead of 25% off costs have risen. It is what it is. It is the state of our economy. So these are a little more pricey and I understand that this price point is not for everyone, but a lot of you are asking about them and I am a sucker for pearls. It's the stone for the birthstone for June. A lot of very important things happen in our family in June, all very celebratory. So I love wearing pearls and I think they're classic. And then sometimes I count this as clothing, sometimes as an accessory, but I wanted to share with you this bra because a lot of you were asking me in particular about this picture, what do I wear underneath it? A lot of you were thinking I was going braless and letting it all hang out. No. <laughs> I am actually a little more on the modest side. I would never do that. I usually wear some kind of racer back sports bra that I don't care if it's seen or not, or I've been reaching for this one and I actually ended up getting a second one because I wear it so much. It's a racer back bra from True & Co. And this lace part actually shows when you wear it uh, in that dress in particular, obviously in other shirts it won't, but it's really meant to be seen. It's beautiful. What I like about this is I do like this lace. It's very soft. It's not itchy. I like that the racer back part is adjustable here. And then the cups themselves are really soft. There's no underwire. It's just a nice little banding here. I would say it's a medium level of support. So if you need a ton of support, this probably isn't for you. It does come in other colors and it happens to be still pretty much fully in stock in a variety of colors at the anniversary sale. So if you can grab it on sale, I would recommend. It's um, normally 52, I think it's in the 30s in the sale right now. Now let's talk about home and lifestyle favorites. Number one is the newest addition to my bedroom. It's the Better Home and Gardens washable runners. So I actually have the same pattern in a rug by the dog's crates. And this video is getting long, so I won't go into all the details as to why we chose to use runners instead of a rug on either side of the bed. But long story short, it's because we have two senior dogs who are starting to have more accidents and it's a lot easier to pull out a runner and throw it in the washing machine than maneuver an eight by 10 or nine by 12 rug out from under a king size bed to wash it. These are my favorite washable rugs. And the only reason I had ordered the other runners is because these had been sold out for so long and they're now, they go in and out of stock. So they are linked below and they're under $40 and they are thick. They feel like nice rugs. They're one piece, they fit in your washing machine. I love them. I really hope Better Homes and Gardens comes out with more patterns because it is a fantastic design. Speaking of Better Homes and Gardens, they also released this faux fur throw, which looks identical, identical to the one on the Pottery Barn website that is $180 and this is 25. This one is also machine washable and dryable and the one from Pottery Barn is not. So this does come in, I think four other shades and I know it might be a little early for some of you to be thinking about holiday gifting, but I would snatch up as many of these as you can now because this will sell out. I am not gonna tell who is receiving these, but I have ordered a few more for myself to give as gifts. I know a lot of you are interested in my phone case and the ring that I use to hold it, and I've recommended one that was for MagSafe cases that had a metal ring that you could use as both a kickstand and as a selfie kind of thing. And I loved it, but I kept playing with it so much that I loosened up the ring. So it doesn't really work in any form anymore. So then I found this guy and it comes in different colors. It has a silicone band here that you can use as you know, to hold it for selfies and, and just so you can stay hands-free if you're carrying other things, you just, you know, slip your pinky through and then you can hold things. But it also comes with, it's attached to 
this kickstand that spins so you can use it as a you know as a stand and it works both this way and if you want to hold your phone that way so i just want to recommend it i really really like it you do need a magsafe case i will link both my case and this thing down in the description box and then <laughs> this is a little random as this whole category is but um i got some new dishes i have been using the same set of everyday dishes since 1997 and we still have them but i had been eyeing these on the walmart website for about a year or so and i finally pulled the trigger and these are from time and table and i actually have their pots and pans they have this in black and white and they've had it for a long time you've seen it probably and anyone who works with walmart they they're sharing it in their walmart posts and then I saw that it came in blue and white and I knew I had to have it because blue is like kind of my color in the house. So it comes with the big dinner plate. There's salad plates that are currently in the dishwasher because we use them so much. And then these bowls and they have a gold rim around the edge that is dishwasher and microwave safe. I don't know how they magically make that possible, but these are fine for the microwave. And I initially ordered just four place settings and even my husband loved them so much. He's like, go order the full set. Like, let's get the full like eight piece set for now. And they go really well with my white dishes as well if we wanna kinda of mix and match a little bit. So I love these and I really hope Walmart comes out with more in this blue and white color because the black and white option, they have a lot of coordinating things, but the blue and white, not so much. And then lastly, I have to say, this is another recommendation from Sarah, Hot and Humid. You should just go follow her. Like stop watching me and go follow Sarah. She has amazing recommendations. This is an eye massager. It, <laughs> it's the craziest thing. It, I got it on Amazon during Prime Days. When you turn it on, please close your eyes, relax, and enjoy. Air pressure plus heat. It blows kind of air pressure. You can't really see, but you put it on like a blindfold. I'll just. Okay, this is weird, but you put it on and it's massaging my whole face. You can adjust the pressure to. I'm gonna take this off. This looks ridiculous. You can adjust the pressure for firmer pressure. You can turn the music off. You can turn the heat off. You can customize it how you want. This is great for migraines and tension headaches. If you can't sleep, if you just want to kind of like spa, blissed out experience. I believe it runs for 20 minutes and then it turns off. This would, again, make a fantastic gift as well. It retails for right around $70. As of filming this, there was a 25% off coupon on the Amazon site. So another really nice little gift idea. So those are my July 2023 favorites. I'd love to know if you purchased any of these. I guess I'll find out when I start looking at my analytics and we talk about viewer favorites in a week or so in August. But in the meantime, I would love to hear from you. If you have any insight or input on any of the things that I've shared, please let me know. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you have fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.